Do you have process logs where you need to cut the fringes? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on business process automation in general and on process mining in particular. Today I'll continue my series of process mining tools and one problem that we may encounter in practice is that in a process log there may be certain cases that are not within our data. The beginning or the end is missing or something like that. So we'll talk about that. So I'll first explain to you what the problem is. Then I'll show you how to solve the problem using PROM, the process mining toolkit. And then I'll do some conclusion. So let's get right into it. Okay, the problem is very easy to explain. Let's say we have our time axis here. This is our time. And we have some traces. Traces may have different lengths. We have a start point and an end point. And um, normally when we have these logs, we always have also a start date of the log and an end date of the log. And of course, this is always the case in the future. For example, if we have, let's say, data until the 31st of December, and we have data from the 1st of January, then all traces that are not completely inside our zone of logs, they can be a problem because the start or the end events may not be correct. So this is the case for this one and this one. So we need to filter those out if we want to make process discovery. And the same holds for this one, this one, and this one. And I'll show you how to do that in PROM. Let's see how it's done. So I have PROM open here with the log file that you can find in the supplementary material already loaded. And if we look at the log, we can see, for example, the dotted chart here. We can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cases here. And looking at the legend, most of them start with A. And there is one at the top that starts with D. And there is one at the bottom that doesn't finish with K, so it's, it finishes with B. So apparently these are the ones that need to be filtered out. So if we look at the overview, we can see that we have nine cases with 96 events. Now we are going to apply the filter that filters out the ones that are not complete, so to speak. So um, I go here and I activate this filter filter and I type in heuristic and um, I use filter log using simple heuristics here. I start this one and um, the start event should only be A and the end event should only be K. And uh, I don't want to do any more filtering, so I set this to 100%. And now I have seven cases here with 82 events, so two cases have been filtered out. And if I start the inductive miner, I can see now I have this process model that more or less corresponds to what I had in the beginning, and um, everything is fine. So it's very easy to filter these using the heuristic filter here. And this is one of my favorite PROM plugins. Thank you for watching. See you in the next movie.